Hello Luna here and welcome to this Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids DLC video. Today I want to go over how to get and showcase for you guys the Egyptian armor set and the Egyptian Kapesh weapon, the Greek armor set and the Byzantine spear, the Rus armor set and the Rus shield, and lastly the Iberian armor set and the Iberian Seax. All four sets are found via the same way in the DLC, which is why I'm going over them in this video all as one. On top of this, there are three other full armor sets to collect in the game as well. The Celtic, Druid and Champion armor, and there's two shields, Kukukulin and the Thorsten shields, and there are three unique weapons as well, a couple of sickles and the Gay Bulk Legendary Spear. And so if you're looking for any of the info on any of those, then you can check out my channel for the guides on them. But we're focusing on a different bunch of them in this video. So to get these armors and weapons, you need to play the in-game mission Dublin's Reach, which is a side mission in the DLC where you need to gather resources via the in-game trading posts. You can upgrade these trading posts if you want to, and you can use these resources to trade with a czar for exotic items in faraway lands. Every time you make a trade, it will increase your reach in Dublin until you level up Dublin's trading renown. And when you do this, more stuff becomes available for trade. So a quick note, upgrading all of the trading posts is what I did first. And to be honest, unless you want the armors and weapons early, or you need silver coins which you can trade for extra resources, there is no real need to do this early. You can just unlock trading posts as you come across them, and you should be able to get all the weapons and armor by the time you've finished the main missions. So the first armor at level 1 is the Iberian armor, which will require 105 clothing, 85 texts, 20 delicacies, and 30 luxuries in order to buy. This comes with a cloak, armor, the awesome helmet here, bracers, breeches, and the CX weapon. The full armor bonus is to increase attack after dodging, and the second effect is additional increase to melee damage and evasion. For the CX weapon, it will temporarily increase critical hit chance after a dodge. The second armor set is the Egyptian armor. This will include the Egyptian Kopesh as well. So in order to get all of them, you will need 180 clothing, 180 texts, 40 delicacies, and 50 luxuries. And this comes with the cloak, armor, helmet, bracers, breeches, and the weapon. The first armor bonus is to increase attack during the day, and the full armor bonus will give you an increase to melee damage and fire buildup resistance. And for the Kapesh, the weapon will ignite after critical hits, which is a pretty cool feature. The third armor set you want to get from the trader is the Rus's armor set and the shield. This will require an additional 240 clothing, 140 texts, 195 delicacies and 70 luxuries in order to purchase and this comes with the cloak armor helmet bracers and breeches again but this time you won't get a weapon you will get a shield the first bonus is an increased attack when surrounded by three or more enemies and the final bonus or the full set bonus is an additional increase to melee resistance and your armor the shield will increase your attack when surrounded by three or more enemies the last armor is the byzantine greek armor set and the Byzantine Spear, and you will need 490 clothing, 360 texts, 150 delicacies, and 160 luxuries. This comes with a cloak, armor, helmet, bracers, breeches again, and the Byzantine Spear weapon. For armor bonus, increase armor after a critical hit, and additional increase to melee damage and health. And for the spear, it will give you a better critical hit chance the lighter your character is. So guys, those are the four armors, three weapons, and shield you will get from trading with the Tsar and upgrading your trading level in Dublin. There is one other type of armor that you will get as a reward for doing these, which is the champion's armor, but I have a separate video on how to get all the pieces because not all of them will come from upgrading your level. So you can check out the separate video for that, which is linked in the description below. If you find the video useful, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again in the next guide.